You, you, you're now tuned in to the Chronicles Podcast, hosted by the homie Cuzzo. You busy? We back from the Fed House. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This has been the most ridiculous morning ever. It's been ridiculous. Not the most. Really? This ranks pretty high up there for me. I mean, maybe top 300. Top 300? Yeah, yeah. top three out of 300? No, I'm saying, I mean, all the ones I can't remember, mm-hmm. they were worse than this, but... I'm to say that after. Yeah, I got the right for now. Hmm. I can't believe we've really been sitting there all fucking morning. Why? We just came from there. You can't believe it? I can't. I'm still in a in a daze that we've been sitting there. Jesus fucking Christ. What is your takeaways from this morning so far? I don't know if testifying is any type of... Of civic duty, I'm sure it falls under that somehow. Mm-hmm. I didn't really have to do any. I didn't. Ha, I didn't have any. Well, I do have important things to do, but they're my important things, so they're not. I'm not on any schedule. So just the basically, it's just the impatientness of myself, mm-hmm. not wanting to have to sit there all morning for four hours. But but that's what you were told. You were told that you would be in and out and to be there at eight thirty, right? Well, in so many words, I was. I mean, <clears throat> I'm sure they didn't tell me the exact time mm-hmm. or whatever, but I was under the impression that I got, whether it's slanted in my, you know, in my views, mm-hmm. that if you get somewhere at 8.30, okay, like the doctor. Right. 9.30. <laughs> Nine? Wait a minute. You just said like the doctor, but then you skipped to 9.30? Well, 8.30, 9.00, that's an hour. I mean, talking about everything done. I'm sure oh, by okay. 9.30. I thought you were talking about waiting rooms. No, there. I'm thinking I'm in there at 9.30. You know, I'm, you Unless know, it's surgery. Yeah, you, you know, I'm, I'm 9.30, <laughs> I'm in there, you know, I'm at least... You know, okay, right. you're next, or you know, we go, you know, mm-hmm. not nine, eight, thirty, nine, nine, thirty, ten, ten, thirty, right, eleven, eleven, thirty, eleven, forty-five. Oh, it's lunchtime. Yeah, they sit this motherfucker four hours. <laughs> no, I did not expect that at no. all. And if I'm wrong of my impressions, which I could be. You know, maybe it was, like I said, maybe it was just my mind telling me that it was going to be I think when they asked you if you had anything to do, I think that's when you should have told them that I I got shit to do. Well, shouldn't they, well, I don't know if they should assume, but they should, I mean, they should, when I I do something, I think of myself sometimes, I try to put myself in their shoes. Do I, do I want to wait somewhere in the, in, in the courtroom for four hours, four and a half hours, and, uh. Four hours mm-hmm. and not be told anything and not be oh wait I don't and then be uncertain right then there's three more witnesses then his lawyer say well I'm pretty positive we're gonna get into it today yeah pretty positive this this, this this is are those testimonies gonna be quick like three hours is it gonna be three hours for each is it gonna be an hour for each witness this time <laughs> so you say three witnesses thirty minutes that's an hour and a half yeah. Yeah, you're right. You bullshit. The court don't close at two, does it? They no. Shit. No, they're usually done four. about four, four thirty. Usually, they're not there till five. I'll tell you what, they can call me at four. Hey, Judgey, you ready? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll be right there. I mean, at this point, like I said, when you go back, you might as well just go sit in there and see what this shit is about. I'd be like, man, I'm not sitting out there in the in the hallway for another four hours. So y'all gonna let me come in here and sit down? <laughs> Cause security's walking by, looking at me funny, all this shit. See, man, they probably see that shit all the time. <laughs> you know how they do the court? The cafeteria ain't even open, so it's not like you can go when, down and get something to eat, nigga. When they when you when they when they got you when you incarcerated, you go to court, nigga. They come get you at. Six o'clock, five, six o'clock in the morning. Right. And you sit all the way over there till three o'clock. But the that's end. cool, though, because... Bullshit! Listen, hold, wait, 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 hold on. But that's okay, though. That's cool, because 
niggas ain't doing shit anyway. So it's something to do. The time is going to pass. Now, waiting is hard than a motherfucker when you got to wait in the waiting cells. But that's doing something. We were sitting in a hallway talking to each other. And you, you're a great conversationalist. Don't get me wrong. But sitting and conversating, <laughs> sitting, conversating in the unknown is different than conversating yeah, we in the known. We're looking at the door. Right. The, the security guard come up with us. Oh, they yeah, come. They yeah. Come. Nah, I'm, nigga, that's the security guard. I'm up. getting doors fucked up. because they. <laughs> oh, I thought that was over there. Nah, nigga, he's over there. <laughs> Niggas walking in the front door downstairs. I'm looking at the door. Nigga, do you know one time I bullshit you not? I was going to court for child support, right? Uh-huh. I get there, the door is locked. Mm-hmm. It's past the time. I'm thinking, well, maybe they didn't have it today. Maybe they can't. And they were in there. I mean, they were in there. This is what happened. The, the outer door is locked. So I'm like, doom, doom. I'm, I knock lightly, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm knocking. I'm waiting. I was like, God damn, well, maybe they they uh, didn't have it. So I, I asked somebody I seen. They were like, I don't know. You know, I'm talking to them. I said, shit. So I went all the way back downstairs to the, to the clerk. I said, hey, I'm supposed to have court at such, 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 but the door is locked. Mm-hmm. She said, what courtroom? I said, doom, doom, doom. So by the time I get back up there, there's this girl coming out, unlock the door. I go in there, everybody in there. Right. The judge said, oh, by the time, he said, well, nice to you. I said, ho. Oh. Uh-huh. Just said some little slick shit. Uh-huh. I said, ho, oh. your honor, the door was locked. He said, the outside door was locked. I said, yeah, the outside door was locked. I couldn't get in. I had to go all the way downstairs Mm -hmm. to tell the clerk to call somebody to tell them to come unlock the door. He said, well, who unlocked the door? I said, the girl with glasses and long brown hair. Uh He said, okay. (laughs) You try to get slick in the mouth. Yeah. No, I've been staying outside locked out. (laughs) 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 Uh, What happened to the the dude, the the stenographer, whoever, the court clerk, Uh When he came out, they was there. He didn't unlock the door. When he pushed the door mm-hmm. open, people came in. So that's how the door the door opens out. So so when he said that to you, that wasn't as slick as a nigga telling you you need to move your car every two hours and you can walk down. Are we still talking about this man? <laughs> I'm still you petty, man. I'm fucking petty. Why are we I still even talking bad. about that? Because he, he really it was a suggestion. Shit. Why would I need to walk if I have a car? You, do you understand the conflict of interest? He told me I needed to move my car okay, every two well, hours look, first. Okay, check, check this out. If you drop me off back down there, you see him, why don't you add, take this up with him? Okay? I don't you, think so. He was right there when he came out. He was whispering in my ear about how long and all that shit. You didn't say a motherfucking thing to him then, did you? Just like you should have told him you ain't got time for this shit today? I should have. <laughs> How about this? We'll walk up side by side. We'll tell them both what we have to say together. No. <laughs> at least, at least I'll have an argument. You'll have a warrant. Because I'm saying. Negative was subpoenaed. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Oh, my oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Why you think I'm talking shit? I ain't fucking with this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to be late, but I'm going to show up. Well, what is your plan? When do you go go back there? Because it's 1239 now. I'm a, when we finish this, I'm going back. <laughs> Nigga, I'm not going to sit there for no... If you it figured tw- at the very least fifteen minutes mm. for each person, just it's thirty gonna minutes. Be. That's gonna be an hour and a half, right there. If they're cross examining, it's not gonna be no fucking fifteen minutes. Well, I'm saying at least an hour a person. That's three hours, and that's three before you. Yeah, Jesus, that's four o'clock, nigga. Like you said. <laughs> Oh my goodness! That's some bullshit. I want to get to the shop today. God damn it! Yeah, you. I think you should have known already. It's gonna be an all day affair. Should have known. These motherfuckers. 
That shop shit is canceled, man. No, I'm just a little later. I gotta at least put the shit on the I gotta at least find out where the leak is coming from. Man, I had my homeboy's car, he he be fucking with me. Man, am I still a proud owner of <laughs> I'm like, yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> Your shit is I'm gonna get to it. Oh gosh. I got people trying to get their phones. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, I need about six employees. Uh, well, excuse me. How much you paying? Minimum wage. (laughs) (laughs) Not a living wage. Minimum motherfucking wage. Oh, gosh. That is it. Minimum wage. Not a living wage. So, so paying Chugiach and rent ain't happening with your paycheck. Nigga, you can pay. I pay you daily. You can afford a daily. <laughs> if you work 10 hours. <laughs> and that's not guaranteed. That's not guaranteed. <laughs> so this might be groceries. That's about it. Uh, I can get one part of it. I can't get both parts. Can't get both parts. I can't get rent and groceries. I can get either or. Hey. I know I can probably get partial rent and some groceries. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, unless you run the whole show. Yeah, unless you run the If you whole run show. the whole motherfucking show, shit. I take the I take the the, the, the what is called the uh not the bot but the uh uh what is it called? The uh the uh the passive mm-hmm. part of it, the passive income. Yeah. So what we got going on today, bro? Man, I'm so discombobulated from my morning. Let's see. Did you see uh, the CDC came out with an article recently about the that the majority of deaths from COVID were people with underlying conditions? <laughs> and about They said about 94% of all Americans who have died from COVID had at least one other underlying disease. Right again. <laughs> One for docious. That's, I, I don't know. Man, I'm telling you, man. They need to go on higher doses at the, for, for the CDC. Need to hire you? National spokesman. <laughs> what? Why is that? I'll be fucking up shit. I ain't gonna say nothing. I mean, I don't understand at, at this point what, uh... They should, they should, like I said, they should have came out. Look. Like we said last week. We? Hold on. No, only one right is those. No, no, I'm saying like oh, what they said last week straight. when we discussed oh, okay, how straight. they were saying how if you're asymptomatic now, remember we were talking about that? You don't even... Look, I bet your homegirl should have she listened to our podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Now just off. No pay. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna send me home for what? Oh, okay. Uh, uh... Um, let me go ahead and back right quick. But that's going to go ahead. That's going to be the norm, though, pretty soon. I done went right in the back and swiped me about eight box, eight phones. <laughs> no problem. So I can get these off in oh, two yeah. months. <laughs> it's about 5000 Then you can fire me. Kiss my black ass. You ain't COVID. Kiss my ass. Because, I mean, it, I, the way I see it now, what were you going to say before I said what I was going to say? Oh, uh. The, the, like I said before, all they should have done: mm-hmm. wear your mask, wear a mask if mm-hmm. you choose to. Right. Be aware that this, like the flu, can attack anybody, but the most susceptible are people with underlying conditions mm-hmm. and people that are older. Mm-hmm. And so, where and they should list any underlying or every underlying condition that it could be that could cause your health to be more deteriorated, to deteriorate faster if you catch the COVID. So, if you're obese, you have diabetes, anything. Mm-hmm. If you have any underlying sickness, you're susceptible to this. So, if you want to stay home, the people who who have these underlying symptoms, if they want the extra money, unemployment, if you want to can't stay at work, then mm-hmm. then that's what you do. Mm-hmm. That's That would have been so much easier. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that have been easier? That would have been easier. Yeah. 
No, but, it been but you and everybody <clears throat> else get hysterical about this shit. I didn't get hysterical. Yeah, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> Quit <laughs> lying. <laughs> I got as hysterical. hysterical. I got as hysterical. No, 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 don't don't make no comparison. You that's enough. Stop yeah. right there. You got hysterical. You just admit admit, admit it. We don't need any comparison to anybody else, anyone else, who else? No. But this is gonna end up being like the regular flu at some point, right? I mean, how do you sit up here and adjust when it comes to how do you sit up here and adjust when it comes to the whole thing with uh, employment now. I mean, at what point do you think they change it now? So they said if you're asymptomatic, you don't necessarily need a test. So that just means the motherfucker should have lied the whole at the, from the whole beginning. You have COVID? No. So put, what put a cold compress on your head <laughs> with it before they point the thing at you and go on in. Mm, I ain't got no so pain. at what point do you need a test? Then you think. You don't know. Only if you have a fever. You don't know. You don't know. Because if you have a fever, whatever, you don't know if you have COVID. You can go get a test then when you get sick. But you could not have any symptoms and have COVID. So, do you know? But I'm saying someone with a severe symptom, like a, a high fe- high grade fever, you know, stuff like that, should they be the ones that get the test? If they choose to. But I'm mm. saying people go to work with high fevers all the time. Yeah. That's true. So I'm saying that's, that's what I'm saying. So I, I I can't sit here and say when somebody should get a test. Or what, why? My thing is wh- whether they should or not. I'm not saying that. This is what I say. Why don't we say the same things when people come to work sick all the time? Mm. People <laughs> coughing. I, I'm t- the, the prime example. Nigga, you heard that bitch coughing at the Siberian uh, 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 office? Yeah, she was coughing. She was hacking up. Yeah, that bitch could have TB. Yeah. Uh, 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 hepatitis. Well, can you, hepatitis is sexual. Flu, anything. Mm. A cold. Mm. She didn't even cover her mouth. Yeah. Coughing yeah. over everything, <clears throat> anything. The girl was sitting less than a foot, probably. Mm-hmm. Two feet away from at the same table. Whatever she got, all the droplets and the, 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 right. <laughs> the contagion and whatever was she was hacking about of her. Old girl read that shit right on in. Ain't nobody yeah. said that. Now you do that now, <clears throat> the motherfucker be get, get shot right now. That's crazy. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That makes no sense. That that's the, that's hysteric. That's hysterical ass shit, man. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, you're right. Stop it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah. people act I, like they I don't think... have any. I think everything's going to be back to normal pretty much after the election. That's how it's well, going to work. Eventually, eventually, when people start under, when people, when there's more information out, more people get sick, more people, whatever, whatever, then it'll probably go back to normal. There probably be, there probably will be some people who could continue to wear their masks or whatever. They may, it will be, it would be who's a lot of restaurants and a lot of places to, to, so, to, to, I, I know. That they place tables and seats in places to make more money. Of course. Right. Of course they do. <laughs> but maybe they should redesign stuff. Yeah, maybe they should to. have, you know, I don't know. That face well, mask in some places looks like a good fit to me. Well, well, like I said. I mean, said, that shield? Yeah. Like I said, you know, I think it depends on the field you're in. I think if you're in the food service industry the bar industry, all that. I think if you're dealing with customers face-to-face at a particular distance, I think that you should wear a mask. Uh, I don't know. That, that, and, for, I mean, and, 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 For me, it feels foreign. So re- I can't realistically, really... but realistically, I mean, I, I think we have to start looking at it as in the context of like people that prepare food. They wear hair nets. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like that. I think it needs to start being looked at in that context. If you're if you work in a in a real estate office or whatever and you got your own office and your desk is pretty far apart then you know that might not be but people that are directly dealing with a lot of people every I, day I honestly just work, this is what my mind thinking now I just think a lot of people should be should be concerned about sanitation Absolutely So what I'm saying is maybe if you have a business maybe a motherfucking can, can start a sanita- sanita- sanitation business. Not, mm-hmm. not not saying a trash removal, but sanitation is, you. they come in and spray. Right. They come in, or it should be a janitorial that sanitizes. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sanitized janitorial that you can start an idea. Say we'll come in every week. We'll spray your stuff down, wipe it down, get rid of, you know, keep the germs down. That's what people should consider. Right. People should consider keeping their germs down, not touching their face, washing their hands more. <clears throat> that, 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 that's, I'm, I'm telling you, that's 90% of it. Yeah. Yeah, it is. With or without a mask. I mean, a person can wear a mask, but with, I think that in my mind, I'm so used to not seeing it. I, my mind recognize, that's how I de- identify, that's how I see people, a whole face. Mm. So I'm used to seeing, when I look at somebody, I can't really see them until I see their whole face. Yeah. That mask inter- interferes with that. So that's why when you say that, I'm not with that because I can't, you can't tell who, um, look, imagine if, <laughs> yeah, how many niggas would go to jail if everybody wore a mask? <laughs> Here he goes. How many more niggas was going to jail? Everybody, if, if, if. tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Be honest. If everybody, if, <laughs> it should be a test. We stick because they say. Now I'm, I'm not saying white people only do. What I'm saying is mm-hmm. cross interracial identification is hard. So if we, they did a test, put somebody white or somebody black. In a, in 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 uh, had, and all the people wear a mask have something happen to them, and then ask the person to identify them. Mm-hmm. How would they do it? It wouldn't be no way to do it. <laughs> 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 the jailhouse be full of niggas. It be full of niggas. Man, what happened? Man, they said they had a mask on. They got my ass up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it be full of niggas. Full of them. Uh huh. <laughs> am, am I wrong? You're not wrong. <laughs> wow. You can't wear a mask. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to wear one. They, look, that nigga had a mask on. That wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had a pink mask on. I bought his red. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, there'd be a lot of uh, there'd be a lot of disputes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Foster, how did you get on the death row? Got that damn white motherfucking mask I had on. <laughs> they said another nigga had a white mask. They put me on death row. <laughs> <laughs> so you say all you had was a white ma- white mask mask? I fit the description. Yeah. Brother with a mask. That's it. <laughs> ah, oh, they get. Oh Lord. Yeah. Hell no. There'd be a lot of wrongful lawsuits too, though. <laughs> yeah, the long, the wrongful lawsuits would sky, would skyrocket <laughs> through the roof. The state would be broke. <laughs> All brown and black people get lawsuits like a motherfucker. Well, he had on a mask. He had on a mask. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All seriousness. <laughs> but I'm telling you, that's what happened. That's probably what happened, man. Yeah. We ain't lying. That is funny. I don't know. <laughs> it, hey, the, look. And a nigga wouldn't have to have the mask on. Just had to have a mask on him. He Just going to jail. Him. Just on him. Nigga had a mask in his pocket. I would so that nigga was wearing his. I would have. Oh, you could took it off. <laughs> yeah, you took it off. Oh Lord, that would be devastating. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> so, man, did you watch uh, Brandy and Monica's? No. Festival? Why? For what? <laughs> I thought you were a fan of Brandy. I am. Life. I'm not watching that book. Nigga, I don't have time for that shit. Let me tell you something. No. Let me tell you something. No. Please. I watched. It was three hours. Oh, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh, shit. You watched that bullshit for three hours? Uh, listen. I see why you jumped in the listen. bed last night after work. <laughs> Look, that's why you were tired yesterday, look, right? Look, I didn't make it through the three hours. I, I don't think so. <laughs> Who the fuck can listen to 
the Brandy and Monica for three hours. Look, they had interludes. And first off, it was not a good battle. It was probably the worst battle, I think. And let me tell you why. So, it was a TV behind them. It was two chairs. Brandy sits in one. Monica sits in the other chair, right? So... There was no background. It wasn't in a studio, nothing. It was just them sitting there and they were playing the music in the background. So before the battle starts, your girl Kabbalah gets on the screen. Oh, they did say something like she was in there. Of course, we're pandering. We have to get through That's the pandering. That's what they said. That's what they said. We have to get through the pandering <clears throat> before the battle starts. So she gets through her thing. It just, I don't know, the vibe just wasn't there. Like, Brandy and Monica are good, but I I didn't listen to them like that. Well, neither did I. I mean, I listened to, so, I mean, I liked Wanna Be Down and some stuff, but I never bought her album. I never listened to a whole album of either one of them. Mm-hmm. You know, back when the music was younger, they used to have singles, so you could... They would mm. pick, that would be the single. Right. They would pick a song off the album and make it a single, and they would right. play that over and over. So sometimes that's the only thing I know about an artist is it being mm. a single. Mm. That's it. Yeah. So I didn't really. Did, I, I I I doubt if I know I never bought either one of them those those, those females albums, but I do like some of their music. I did, but other than that, yeah, I can't. That's what, it was boring. Mm. Now Teddy Riley. Or Babyface, I know a lot more of them, but a lot more of Teddy Riley. Some DMX or somebody maybe, you know, yeah. But mm-hmm. I still wouldn't watch it. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm not watching no versus battle. Yeah, you ain't For lying. what? For you what? Lying. All, all that old ass music, but they ain't even, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Well, DMX it's like versus ass- Snoop was dope, though. Them two hell of a dudes, though. Well, they did it in a, but this is the thing, though. And I think that's why my favorite battles are Babyface and Teddy Riley can sit there and play the music. You know what I'm saying? They can do that. Mm -hmm. DMX and Snoop sat up here and they were in a studio Mm -hmm. and they would get up and rap the bars and, you know, just like with Jadakiss and Fabulous. So you got kind of a performance, kind of like a performance with it. Even Alicia Keys and John Legend, they had back-to-back pianos, so they were both them playing two, them two motherfucking stars. That's though. what I'm saying. But it, it, it's you have to. I think you have to be a performer. Who do you think with won it. that one? Oh, Alicia. I'm about to say that motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. She don't have to sing no more. Alicia. Alicia can just go. John Legend can sing. I but just, he just don't. He don't have that. He's he's not. You have to be a John Legend fan. Like you listen to some people. And you're like a fan of them. You could play a song from the Isley Brothers and be like, oh, that's the Isley Lord Brothers. Jesus. Like when somebody plays a John Legend song, if it's not all of me, all of me's good. Yeah. But I mean, he's got maybe one or two other, but I don't, you know, it's not. He's not a legend. He, well, yeah, he's not a legend. <laughs> he might be somebody. You know, you, you I, I, I wouldn't. Will you hear Ernie Isley? Meow. If, you hear the, you hear his brother yeah. Ronnie sing all the time. If I'm trying to set the mood, the last person I'm playing is John Legend. Oh, <laughs> <I> man! <mean. laughs> With the Teddy on him, I think I played. Go I, I think I played John B before I played John Legend. Yes. <laughs> Just saying. I agree with that. I'm not trying to be fucked up, but I'm just not a John Legend guy like that. But yeah, I mean, it has to be more of a performance, I think, when you're doing these versus battles. Well, it, it should be a performance. I mean, unless, I mean, well, not. I don't know. I don't. I guess it would be more enjoyable if it were a performance instead of just you listening to some oldie but goodies with some of them, right? Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. So, I don't know. Let me. I got a question, off B. Do you sure? Do you have a, You don't have a computer at home yet. Mm, I got an iPad. If you count that. What is you get online with it? Yeah, I can get online with it. No, yeah. you do you a lot. Do you online a lot? Well, I watch my ATT TV with it. Do you pay your bills and stuff on the internet online? Do I pay my bills online? Mm-hmm. Any mm-hmm. bills? 
the, like my uh, streaming <clears throat> services. Oh, yeah. yeah my. But I have this thing on here that allows me to search that VPN shit that when you search mm-hmm. you know, online that you they can't track your shit. I just wonder if you use it. Oh. But you don't what get you on. got that for? Because I pay my bills. I don't like motherfuckers what watching you, what the fuck I'm doing. What you I, trying to do some, uh... I may want to blow some shit up. you trying to do some dark some, web shit? Yeah, I may be trying to <laughs> get some illicit drugs or blow mm. some shit up. No, I'm just joking. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. It's one o'clock. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, so what else is up? Nothing, man. It's just that, that, uh... So, so do you think, do you think that people should riot and protest or protest every person that killed gets killed? No, I don't. I don't think that should be a thing. Why are you thinking that's a thing? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Should they do it? Should, should they, uh. You, do you think they should? I don't think so. I mean, you can't sit up here and really do it correct until you know the full story. <clears throat> you can't sit up here and just run off full story or half a story with a lot of this shit that they're running off on. That's the problem. But they do and think how they feel, right? Right, but it, it, are we just going to do everything based on how we feel? Is everything going to be based on it? Because I feel that that fat fuck at the courthouse disrespected me. So I should should I do something based on what I feel? Or should I think that my friend is here trying to handle business, so I need to goddamn watch what I say and act accordingly? <laughs> well, I mean... Yeah, can, yes, yes, Mr. Petty brought that situation back well, up. Well, if, 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 if you wanted to say something, then you're responsible for what you say. Exactly. So, so it's no, it's, I mean, but but I have to be aware of repercussions of what I do or say. I have to be aware of repercussions. And and the the tricky thing about what's going on right now is every situation that pops up now, you know, it's organization and it's protest. And like I said, we don't know the full story to a lot of these. We we just don't know. You know, we get we get partial footage and it sends people into, you know, a, going off and that's what we get. We get we get the rioting and we get all the shit going blown over out of control until any facts get released. Hmm. Right? I mean you know. Is that what you think? Um I don't know. I I, th- I I was thinking in my mind that if they feel that they did it, if they feel that he's been killed wrongly, they should go off every time. They right, should, but every time, mind, I mean, it, it, at what point are, is it overkill, though? And a lot of people I don't say, think it ever can and, be and, a, and a lot of people say, you know, just sit up here and keep doing it and doing it. And a lot of people have the burn the house down mentality. Oh, yeah, but I got that. But I, and I understand saying having the burn the house down mentality, but. In all reality, the house isn't getting burned down. Well, this is what I'm saying. And I, I don't know what is, when enough is too much to ride or burn some shit up. But when they when this is what I want. This mm-hmm. is what this if if I were to get out there and do that, and uh, when they see when they see me coming, when they see me coming, and and, and they think it's going to be a problem. They better remember they just got their shit burned the fuck up. Yeah, but that that doesn't. What do you mean it doesn't what? I mean, it, it doesn't I think, what? I think I think a lot of people equate burning Wait, down a, 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 a. I think a lot of people equate burning down a police station example with some kind of big victory. I mean, if that's a victory for it's, you, it's, but I mean, but, okay. it doesn't it doesn't change the grand scheme of things. No, it, none it, of it, this is changing the grand scheme of things. I think it does. It has. Oh, how? Because I think there's more people involved looking at issues now than there were before they people fucking start b- okay, busting that's, shit up. That's great. There's okay. more people looking at issues. Okay. But okay. what is getting done? Is that more than before? But what is getting done? Is that more than before? What is getting done? I don't know. If it's more than before, something's getting done. If I'm if I'm if outside, it's more than before, if I see a car outside mm-hmm. with a broken window, mm-hmm. and then two people walk up, mm-hmm. and they look at it with me, 
mm-hmm. and then three more people walk up. We're a bunch of people looking at a, a car with a broken window. But that's not the same. That thing. doesn't mean that anything's going to sit that's up here and a, fix the a, broken that's window. That's a nice, loose comparison to what I'm talking about, but that's not what I'm really talking about. If the broken window is if the broken window is racism, then I accept that. <laughs> if the car's a metaphor, <laughs> then I accept that. If it's not, then don't try that shit. Uh, that was a nice bullshit. I think you try. need to respect my analogy. <laughs> yeah, that was their bullshit. <laughs> my analogy gave is good, and I don't think you just like it. Was it was horrible. <laughs> uh, don't us like my analogies, y'all. Pay attention. We're wilding out shit. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that something's really being changed? I mean, other than eyes looking at something, do you think that a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of attention being brought to this now is going to sit up here and change the ultimate, you know, the ultimate of uh, uh, c- scenario of how this all comes together? I don't think so. I don't know. What? What are you? What are you talking about by yourself? I was asking people if they think that this ultimately bringing more eyes to it is going to ultimately change well, the then, scenario. Okay, so need nothing else bring more eyes to it. Niggas marching and, and doing That's it great. peacefully. And I, I totally get it, but what? Okay, I like I said, even with the marching and stuff, we're past it now. What? The kneeling and stuff, we're past it right. now. What? Not but now we can now we can add to it. The rioting and stuff, we're past it now. What? I don't think we're past the riots. But okay, but when we get past the riots, then what? I don't know. Because the majority of the motherfuckers, like I said, I see rioting are white people anyway. So that's that's even better, hmm. ain't it? I guess. I mean, it, ultimately, what do we? I don't know. Tan shit up till they get straight. I guess. All right. I don't mind that. We'll we'll see how that pans out. It can't, it can't pan out no differently than it's been panned the fuck out. So we'll, we'll find out, right? Mm-hmm. We shall see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. They, they can stop. They can stop. They can stop a motherfucking the world for a motherfucking virus, but can't do shit about racism. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Okay. We shall find out. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna bring back tell the club up and remix that motherfucker. Oh, you gonna bring that back up? Mm-hmm. Triple six. <laughs> Tear the world up! <laughs> uh, and they go sit up. Burn here. this motherfucking yeah. shit down! Don't, don't just don't get no more people <laughs> shot. You gonna get people shot? I'm gonna get people shot. You gonna get people shot hollering that shit? What? Tell you. <laughs> Tear the world up! Mm-hmm. Tear the world up! Oh, if I can get a hook like that motherfucker on uh 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 uh, uh. what was that one with the uh, the dude was uh. Trying to be a rapper, I can't that movie. What movie? Uh, Terrence Howard played in it. Uh, uh. Whoop that trick. trick. Uh, Ooh, if I hustle get, and flow. Yeah, if I get a if I get a hook like that with some shit, ooh, with that beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, It'll be another goodness. fuck the police, boy. Mm-hmm. Ooh, if I get, ooh, I might think about that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So what time we at? 38. Okay. I got another topic. Hold on, let me. Yeah. What is the topic, man? You're going to enjoy this one. Because I feel like you're going to get a chance to unload before we sit up here and get done with this shit. So I think you're going to enjoy it pretty much. You know? No. I think so. Rarely do I give Doe the opportunities to sit up here and... And run out and do whatever he has to do verbally and trash shit. So, you know, we're, we're about to find out. So, let's go, Doe. Okay, what's up? There is talks of AT&T selling DirecTV. <clears throat> well... If 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 we go by the record of what happens when two companies merge, I believe the outcome is mostly bad. Mm-hmm. So what happened is <clears throat> that that was probably going to be expected. Now before you go in deeper, mm-hmm. they paid forty nine billion 
for direct TV. Which they which co- companies when they merge or buy them they do <laughs> tend to now was pay. now was direct TV really worth forty nine billion at the time where streaming mm-hmm. was starting to pick up? Dude, I say no. Well, I see, say fuck the, no. The, the, pro- the thing is, I don't think I don't think I'm I'm gonna say I don't think AT and T was looking at it like that. Mm-hmm. I think it. AT and T was looking at it as far as sub- subscribers, mm. so it's a subscribing thing, and it's close, and that's what they do. That's what AT and needs; it needs subscribers. Mm. So I think they were trying to cross sell maybe their products with the customer base of the the uh, the uh, Direct TV customers, you know, and combine them with more customers because they're paying customers. Mm. So. <clears throat> maybe they broke even. Maybe they made their money back. Maybe they lost think, money. I don't, I don't think, know. I don't even think they made a. I don't. I don't and back. I'm going to say that I don't know. There wasn't a merger then if they bought the company. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was a merger. I'm not sure. It's merger can be done in different ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if they bought the company, maybe they broke an even. Maybe they lost. Most mergers lose. Most mm-hmm. mergers are bad business. But I understand it. But it just they needed a. They it seemed like they don't have from what you tell me about there. That they don't, they didn't have a long term plan. They didn't mm-hmm. have a long term thing. They they come out with AT and TV, which is damn near like Direct TV. I'm not understanding. Well, it's the through concept. internet. It's strictly through internet. <clears throat> but so is so is Direct TV. It's the, it, it doesn't matter if it's through the internet. It's mm-hmm. the same, mm-hmm. isn't it? I mean, cable TV either through the internet or through, well, the, through well, off a of satellite. The, the, it's AT, just no the, the ATT TV is more like streaming, and you do it through your home internet. So you don't need you get a box with it, but you could do it through the app too on your phone. And it's the same thing as come and stop it, man. You look, you're not selling me the ass shit. So quit that bullshit. Here you go. Yeah, you, you didn't fell off into your, your was that you was that how, was that on your piece of paper that you had to write? To read to your customers? Here we go. Stop that shit. Here we go. That's the same shit. Uh, they they sell the product that they already fucking have. Mm. So so pretty. They should they should have done that sooner. So pretty much. I agree. They, they should have done it sooner. They should have. They should. If they had done that, they should. If they would have done that sooner and offered the the direct TV subscribers that at a lower price and get them switched on that, then that might have been an idea. Hmm. And done away with direct TV all together. What they did is they they absorbed direct TV and try to sell direct TV. That was to me that would be stupid. Yeah. Live TV is pretty much dead now. Well, not necessarily. I mm-hmm. mean. I, I would get cable if I could pick my channels. Yeah. If I could develop my own cable package, that'd be the, if I can go in and go online and go on the the, the 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 website and pick the channels. If if they say you get a hundred picks for fifty dollars, mm-hmm. and they got all these channels you can pick to put in your package, I would do that. I would do that. Okay. Because that's the same as that's the same as I'm doing with the apps. Yeah. Hmm. But if I could pick my content, yeah, if I didn't have 1,800 channels of evangelical and shopping network shit that I'm never going to watch, mm-hmm. but I'm paying the money for the block, it, no, it's not worth it. Then when they cut my shit off, I was mad as a motherfucker. I couldn't watch TV over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Nope. Hmm. They had no cable, no nothing since then. Yeah. Even if I'm paying, spending more money now, but I get to choose. Now, I'm, now I want to fight these goddamn commercials. I'm tired of money. You're never gonna get rid of commercials. They gotta make the money. I'm tired of that shit. They got but yeah, I, I just think that that they 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 making a bunch of missteps. Whoever's driving the ship is is, is uh, zigzagging. Somebody I mean, needs to talk to a manager. <laughs> <laughs> talk that shit though. But I have AT and T. I like AT and T. Hmm. I've been a customer since I don't know when. Since I fucking fuck flushed that T-Mobile bullshit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's just they don't have any. They don't have any product. They don't have any. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what. I, that's that's the only thing I could think of if they wanted their subscriber base. That's the only thing. But they they didn't immediately start selling them stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. At least make the AT and T T AT and T TV, and then give them that same thing as Direct TV. Did give them a discounted price for a couple of years to switch over. Yeah. 
It's mm. true. Why sell against it? Why sell against it? Or the it? same shit? Hmm. That's like asking, why did Brandy and Monica have a versus battle? <laughs> why would you ask? You like that shit. I didn't like it. Yeah, you do. You like the versus battle. So, what should we end it here? It's one fifteen. I don't give a fuck. You think I want to go back over there and sit three hours? Well, the marshals might come. I just let them come. Okay, Fine. you wasn't saying that shit earlier. I gotta say something sometime. You said yes, some. I'll be back. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so will. I sure did say that. I like, ain't trying to go to jail. <laughs> I looked. You looked right at me as soon as he said. <laughs> All I can say was, well, I told you. Told you. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you were pacing around earlier before that, like, this nigga's talking some bullshit. No, I knew you could. I, I mean, I was thinking the same thing, but I was hoping they would get done. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be done. Mm-mm. How the fuck I want to take my whole day standing up in, on the second floor of the motherfucking thing? I've never seen lawyers work through a noon lunch. <laughs> But they gotta have it the break. It's gotta be at noon. That's when they all take their lunches. 11, 11 45 ish. To, to 12 to 30. To 1 30 ish. Sit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're right. I can tell you where they go, too. I don't. <laughs> Uh, I heard one lawyer one day I went to a sushi place midtown these two lawyers it was like a group of them I'm like fuck these motherfuckers love some sushi and shit here Mm -mm. Uh, yeah yeah I ain't got nothing else nothing else well I know you gotta be back soon I didn't have that much stuff you know Oh yeah, you know you you gotta be back soon. We don't want you to have a warrant. If 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 we do a longer episode and you fuck around and get a warrant, well then shit, we won't be able to do an episode next week. You did? Damn, it's just motherfucking not showing up subpoena. I ain't killed nobody. No, you tell the white man that. <laughs> You you say that exact same. You keep that same energy. And you tell me, the white man. If they that. put me in jail, I'm gonna have Yana, to tell him that. Yana, hey, I just missed a subpoena. I didn't kill nobody, Yana. That's what I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> and then the prosecution's gonna take all morning once again, and they're gonna come up with the summary and say, "Your Honor, this man poses a danger to society." <laughs> Not only not only is this nigga tardy all the time, but he poses an immediate danger to society. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't got nothing else. It's you already else, I don't got nothing else. It's a short one. Oh, it, it's going to have to be, nigga, because we try to keep you out of prison. Stop it! You ain't worried you got about me going to jail. You got subpoenaed, pimp. Quit acting like you worried if I go to jail. You, I am. You've been laughing the whole motherfucking time. I am. I could do this show by myself, but I don't want to do this show by myself. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh. Yeah, I don't got nothing else. Unless you got something. I don't know. I'm trying to see. He's looking up shit. At 120. Keep that in mind. It's 120. Stop. I'm, hey, I'm looking out for you. No, buddy. you're not. You making I'm looking joke. out for you. You got the jokes up on me. I, I gotta I, get ready I, to I go usually, anyway. I got a maintenance man coming. Oh, you did say that. Too. Yeah. All right, man. We could be out. We didn't talk about much. I like long ones. We didn't ones. talk about much. I know you like the long ones. And so do they. They like the long ones making niggas wait in hallways for three hours. Niggas, stick to your day job. You know, the jokes are not for my you. day job is gonna be living, coming home, and eating a box of Cracker Jacks every day. 
for a month. Why did you say that? Because I want my month's supply of Cracker Jack. I didn't say a month's t- supply. I may buy you a box. Well, I'll take a the, jumbo I'll, box. I'll take the box. I might frame it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might get a laminated box from from uh, Kinko's. I'm like, hey, laminate this box for me. You know. Put told you so in big laminated what letters. Ever. What <laughs> ever. All right, man, All right. we out. Holla.